Hello, hello, hello to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you today with a special breakdown of your astrological sun sign. Not moon rising in Venus, but specifically your sun sign. And your sun sign is how other people see you, okay? It's the most powerful planet. Um, even though the sun and the moon are luminaries in astrology, we say planet, okay? So your card in tarot is the hermit card, okay? So um, the hermit in tarot suggests that you are in a phase of introspection where you are drawing your attention inwards and looking for answers within. You are in need of a period of inner reflection, always uh, away from the, not always, but away from the current demands of your position, okay? Uh, so when we talk about the, when we talk about astrologically, when we're talking about the Virgo, some of the character traits for the Virgo is that they are very intelligent, analytical, honest, reliable, perfectionist, loyal, kind, hardworking, very practical. That is the overall, those are like the basic characteristics of, you'll find that in all Virgos, okay? But the what the decadence does is, it's an astrological term, first of all, and so the, the word decadence or decons derived from the Greek word dekanoi, which means 10 days apart. So you either fall in the first, second, or third decon of your particular sign. Again, only sun signs, okay? Sun sign is how people, other people see you. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to resonate. When I share with you like the um, some information about your decon, where you fall depending on your birthday, doesn't mean that it's going to resonate totally with you. But this is how other people see you, okay? Remember, the sun sign is how other people see you, right? Okay, so for the Virgo, if your birthday falls between August 23rd through September 1st, the key word for you is analysis. Your planetary subruler is Mercury. Now, your subruling planet is like you have all signs have ruling planets, and then you have the subruling planets, right? So, your subruling planet actually is an enhancement to what your ruling planet says about you, okay? So, your keyword again, um, Virgo, is analysis. Your planetary subruler is Mercury. So Mercury, planet of the mind, is both your ruler and subruler, giving you a formidable intellect. You approach problems rationally. You want to find out the reason things happen and then apply your knowledge to working out a better system. Often, your insights are thought of as prophetic, but when um, but they are the results of keen observation. You have a warm and witty personality that draws friends and admirers. However, your standards are high and you expect intelligence and decorum in the people you associate with. In love, you are romantic and devoted and have a great, sens great sensitivity toward a lover. There is much nervous energy churning beneath your surface. Your surface you tend to worry secretly and fuss, uh, fuss over small problems, okay? So that's the Virgo in the first decadence. Again, this is how other people see you, all right? The Virgo in the second decadence, your birthday falls between September 2nd through September 12th. Your keyword is efficiency. Your planetary subruler is Saturn. So Saturn planet of determination combined with Virgo's Mercury to give special force to your personality. You are concerned with details and want to plot your moves in advance so that there won't be any mistakes. Though you are versatile and adaptable, most people think of you as persistent and tenacious. Your, your, um, um, you're fixed on your purpose and it's simply that you demand perfection of yourself and try to give your best performance. In truth, you are too exacting and suffer needlessly when you don't live up to your expectations. So sometimes, Virgo, you can be too hard on yourself. Like you can put a lot of extra weight on yourself and you're really too hard on yourself sometimes. When you're in love, you have a gentle and sympathetic nature and you do all in your power to please. You are easy to live with as long as no one arouses your strong, stubborn streak. Again, 
this is how other people see you if your birthday falls between those dates and again your your the ruling planet and your sub ruling planet has a lot to do they're very very powerful actually the if your birthday falls between september 13th um virgo and september 22nd your keyword is discrimination your planetary sub ruler is venus the gregarious and social qualities of Venus combined with Virgo's Mercury to signify a winning way with people. What motivates you is as a desire for approval. You have a special talent for using words and can write and speak charmingly. An artistic flair and a use of color is usually present in your surroundings or dress. You possess a sense of style and project a strong personal image. Poise and confidence are assets in your work or career, and you are known for your tact and diplomacy. Since you are unhappy living under restrictions, you are drawn to creative pursuits where you are free to be your own master. In love, you are warm-hearted and generous, though you demand a lot of attention in return. So again, Virgos, the decons or decadence, um, applies to your sun sign and your sun sign is how other people see you this is your card in tarot okay the hermit card uh, which i explained before but again um like i said there are overarching characteristics for each astrological sign um even when i read my own sun sign information i was like whoa hold on hmm is that me? Is that how other people see me? Okay. Hmm. All right. You know, <laughs> and what can you do? You know, how, how other people see you. But again, um, your over, your overarching or your basic characteristics are just what I name. You guys are very intelligent. So no matter what Virgo, your son, if your sun sign is a Virgo, you're very intelligent, you're analytical, you're honest. You're reliable, you're perfectionist, you're loyal, you're kind, you're hardworking, you're practical. And so those enhancements are by your birth date, if you notice um, what I share with you. But that's what I have for you, Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this and I hope that some of this resonates with you. Have a great day. Bye.